anyone inside the O2 Arena last night, nothing else mattered other than they were getting to watch Madonna kick off her celebration tour. It kicked off three months after the originally scheduled date, but I don't think any ticket holders are going to be complaining because waiting that time meant that Madonna got to fully recover from the near-death bacterial infection that she suffered in the summertime. And you don't want to know how I pulled through and how I survived. I thought I got to be there for my children. I have to survive for them. And Nothing Really Matters kicks off the 45 song set list. Madonna shared the opening number on social media about four hours before she gets on stage for night two. And she wrote, Thank you London, opening night, an evening I will never forget. Now some of them are just played and some of them are just pieces and some of them are covers, like I Will Survive. Did you think of me, Donna, Donna? Yeah. Did you No! Did you No! And did you recognize that voice behind the camera lens? I got my hair cut yesterday, and we're trying to grow out this part, but keep this a little longer and then cut this part. I don't know. Christy's very good at what she does, but I got it cut because I'm going to see Madonna's concert and cheer her on as she takes the stage for another world tour at 65 after having a very serious bout with bacterial infection. And um, if anyone can do it, she can. And I'm thrilled that I'll get to be there and watch her. I've watched so many of her opening nights since we met 30 years ago. Yep, it was on set of the 1992 classic League of Their Own. What are you looking at? Yeah, what are you looking at? Nothing. Yeah. Right? Nothing. Wild. It's a 10 hour flight, let's hope I sleep. So I board in like 20 minutes and then I get on the plane and I hope I sleep for 10 hours. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. I don't think it is on a plane. I made it to London. I slept the whole way on the flight, which I couldn't believe. Yeah, Rosie was feeling, say it with me, Rosie, when she headed to the O2 Arena to cheer on Mo. Rosie posted the opening of the show on TikTok, along with the I Will Survive cover. Then, on her Instagram story after the show, she shared a clip of the AIDS memoriam part of the show that Madonna chose to include. Faces that passed away from the disease are shown on screen. Ro also shared the clip of Mo performing Don't Tell Me. And doing it with all the swagger you'd hope she would. After the show, Rosie wrote on Instagram, Beautiful Madonna, killed it in London tonight, sold out O2. Beautiful performances with her children, a tribute to her mom, and AIDS Memorial, all wonderful. Happy to see her looking so strong, she amazes me, her voice was on point. Hashtag amazing. And critics joined in on the celebration. And no one will have to justify their love for Madonna after seeing this show. Sounds like everybody going to this tour is going to easily get into the groove. I could have kept going, but I'll, I'll stop there. I'll, I'll save you. <laughs> I'll spare you. <laughs> it's her career, but it's also her career, and kind of you know the, the those big moments that have that she's touched and have touched her. Yep, Graham Norton was there as well, and on his Instagram, he posted the video of Ray of Lights. <laughs> With the caption, the Queen. So so. Wait, how many? Th oh wait, three. So 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 good. Congratulations, Madonna, an epic show for the ages. And he justified his love for the show further on Virgin Radio UK this morning. It's great that she's taken this moment to to kind of, to look back and kind of go, I did that. Way to go, Madonna. I love that Rosie was there too. No! What do you think of everyone going crazy for you, Madonna, over your opening night of Celebration Tour?